Hi, welcome to The Jenny Show. This is Nia Jax, the enemy, the number one contender, the one to bring an end to Asuka's reign. Stay tuned so that you can see how you two can be as dominant as me. Nia Jax. With a warm toned red, we want to cover the lid. I'm using the Urban Decay Alice in Wonderland palette. The color is Soleil's and Grum. You want to fill those lids with that color. Now add your highlight color to the brow. I'm using Looking Glass for that. And a warm medium tone brown. I'm using Dormouse to blend out that warm red. And now of course, we want to use our dark blue called Time from that same palette. It's gonna create a deep purple, which is the exact color we want. You wanna use that in the outer V. And then of course in the inner V to create some dimension. Once you get the shape that you want, you wanna connect the two in the crease and blend as well as you can. You also wanna use that dark blue color underneath the eye. Now you wanna line your eyes you want a very slight cat eye. You don't want it to extend too far from the eye. So you want to go ahead and do that and also add your liner to the waterline. Now, of course, we want to blend, blend, blend. Curl those lashes and apply your favorite mascara. If you have a nice pair of falsies, add those as well. Now Nia has a very, very contoured kind of look. We want to use our best tan shade to contour and you want to extend it all the way up to your temples. Make sure you blend it so you don't have any harsh lines. And use your highlight color for above that contour as well as for your nose. I use a color called Royal Flush, but you can use whatever favorite highlight you have. Now we want to cover the lips in a red color. She normally uses berry colors, but she also uses red sometimes. I use this red and then I added a little bit of shadow to the corners to make it more berry toned. Now for the body paint. This section is rather easy. You go ahead and map out your collar. It's really deep and it's in a red tone. You also wanna map out those shoulder pads. There are two of them. There's one large one up top and a smaller one in the bottom. Nia has a sort of black flap in the middle of her deep collar. Your shoulder pads have black straps on them, so you want to add those. And then you want to go ahead and separate your pads with the black lining. You want to go ahead and you want to outline outside of that red collar in a black. And 
ends once you have all that you want to add some of the details she has gold um, sort of buttons or studs on each of those shoulder pads so you want to add three to each and now you want to fill the rest of the suit which is black but to separate it from our pads, we want to mix our black with a white to make a very deep gray color, fill in the entire suit. Now, of course, you wanna go in with black again to give more dimension to those pads and have them separate from the deep gray color. And you wanna highlight all around the suit. So you want the very tips of those pads where the light would catch, as well as certain areas of the collar, the creases on your arms. And then I used a fan brush to add some vertical highlights. And this is very easy. You add those highlights and then you blend out quite a bit and you're done. <laughs> 